Okay, let us let us understand this. This price maximizes profit. Now, if an organization wants to say that I do not care, I want to have the maximum possible profit, then they should be charging 26 rupees as the price of the product. Whereas, if the objective of the organization is to maximize revenue, then they should be charging only 18.5 rupees. Okay. So, 18.5 rupees if you want to maximize the revenue, whereas 26 rupees if you want to maximize the profit. Now, this is where we wish to uh, draw your attention to. Uh, generally, we would have thought that, generally, we would have thought that the prices that maximize revenue would be the same price that maximizes profit also. Clearly, it is not the case even for a linear relationship between demand and price. Even for a linear relationship, that does not hold. Okay. So, let us take a look at this little more closely. Let us go to Excel sheet. Uh, this was my linear relationship. Now, let us go to price optimization. Let us go to price optimization. Okay. So, this was uh, uh, this was the uh, this, this was the data. Okay. This was the data. Uh, for this data, uh, the predicted demand uh, I, I, uh, from the uh, regression, I, uh, I know my intercept was 5842. Uh, from the regression, I know my slope was negative 157.7. Therefore, I can have the predicted demand. My predicted demand uh, is uh, 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 intercept uh, plus uh, slope into price. Right? So, this is the predicted value of the demand. So, this is the predicted value of the demand. This is the actual demand, but this is the predicted value of the demand. I will only take the predicted value of the demand. Right, I will only take the predicted value of the demand. So, uh, I will only take the predicted value of the demand. Right, I will calculate revenue. How did we calculate revenue? Revenue as demand multiplied by the price. Demand multiplied by the price. Okay. So, this is demand multiplied by the price. Okay. Demand multiplied by the price. Everywhere the same thing. Demand multiplied by the price. If you plot this revenue function, if you plot this revenue function, you are going to get, you are going to get this blue dotted line. Okay, blue dotted line. Okay, sometimes the profit does become negative, right? For some cases, the profit is negative. So there is some negative uh, blue dots here, negative blue dots, uh, ne negative in the sense they are below the x-axis. And you can see from the from the numerical uh, plot itself, you can see that the curve is concave. However, you should get the second derivative to confirm that your revenue curve is concave. Now, just, just take a look at this. Where does the curve seems to maximize? Where does the blue curve, if, if this is the blue curve, right? If this is the blue curve, this seems to be the blue concave revenue curve, right? It seems to have peaked at around this value, right? This seems to be the peak or somewhere here which is close to 18, which is close to 18, right? Uh, somewhere, somewhere even, somewhere even uh, left of this, right? So, this is the, this is the price somewhere here, somewhere here, I, I may not have drawn this perfectly correctly. Somewhere here is the maximum value of the revenue and that happens at this price, somewhere around 18, 19, that price range, okay? This is the profit, uh, this is the revenue curve which seems to be concave and if I want to find the price that maximizes revenue, it seems to be in this range. Okay. Now, let us look at, let us look at the profit. For that, I need marginal cost. So, I, I had assumed marginal cost to be 15. What is profit? Profit is demand multiplied by P minus C, right? So, this is demand multiplied by P minus C demand multiplied by p minus c right so this is demand multiplied by p minus c so uh, this is demand multiplied by p minus c okay so different values of uh, profit at different prices because different demands are real a uh, different demand uh, is realized different demand is expected not realized 
right and this is the this is your uh, this is your uh, profit curve okay so this is your profit curve from the shape of it it looks concave however you should get the second derivative to confirm okay now if i wish to find a price if i wish to find a price that maximizes the profit where does the profit seems to be maximum it seems to be maximum here somewhere right some seems to be maximum here somewhere so somewhere here in this price range uh, is the uh, is the price that actually maximizes the profit maximizes the profit and as we found out it is on the in the range of 26 so the price that maximizes the revenue is here the price that maximizes the profit is here so they may not they need not be the same price points the prices that maximize the revenue need not be the prices that maximize the profit okay and obviously if your uh, marginal cost changes let us say your marginal cost uh, you you do some cost cutting measures in your op uh, in your operations and turns out that your uh, marginal cost is not 15 your marginal cost is 12 obviously your profit curve is going to change your revenue curve is not going to change at all your revenue is essentially what you get from your sales you doing a cost cutting uh, 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 operation in your uh, uh, in your uh, factory is not going to change your sales your revenue is not going to change your profit curve may change and therefore the optimal price point may also change for the profit curve okay so clearly you see that uh, uh, the red curve which was our earlier profit curve uh, uh, is not the same anymore now the profit is slightly larger profit is slightly larger because uh, we have done some cost cut cost cutting measures okay we have done some cost cutting measures and therefore i i am hoping to get higher profits and uh, at that higher profits uh, my optimal price uh, that maximizes my profit may also shift from 26 to something else okay so obviously uh, this is expected behavior if i if my uh, if my marginal cost changes my profit changes and therefore i get different values different values for my optimal prices that maximizes the revenue now now the curve is going to exactly fit my red uh, curve okay so uh, uh, once again going back uh, going back uh, uh, you can optimize prices you can optimize prices uh, but your objective has to be very clear a business has to be very clear about what does it wish to achieve now there may be certain conditions where you may want to show massive revenues right uh, revenue is essentially a uh, lot of people buying our product right uh, because uh, revenue is calculated as uh, what, whatever i can sell in the market multiplied by price clearly if i if i offer slightly lesser prices uh, I, I i can hope to get more customers to buy my product so uh, uh, and therefore my optimal prices uh, to maximize my revenue was 18 whereas the, the optimal prices that maximizes my profit was 26 right uh, uh, if i look at the curve right if i look at the curve uh, if i if i uh, if i see the revenue at my price point 26 right if if i look at my revenue my revenue is somewhere here clearly that is not the maximum revenue my maximum revenue is uh, well past uh, here right so uh, at at the uh, at the price point of 26 my revenue may be lesser than what i could achieve but my profit is maximized so uh, when you are uh, when you are uh, optimizing the price the lesson from this session is you should be very clear about what objective do you have are you focusing on maximizing the revenue are you focusing on maximizing the profit with that let us close this session hopefully this has motivated you to look at optimization also as a very interesting branch of business analytics okay with that let us close the session thank you